hello everyone this is life issue and this is blessing please help me subscribe please help me like please help me drop your comments on my video i do appreciate everyone that have liked everyone that have subscribed on my channel now earlier this week i posted a video of pastor iginila talking to his congregation about what happened between him and his wife now when i posted that video i just asked the question who do we believe why would a pastor cheat on his wife because he his wife cheated now i got a lot of backlash from christians people were abusing me they were abusing my marriage they were even questioning why i was asking that question and that is what happens in christendom people do not want to ask questions they attack people they are raising issue they are asking questions and it will not stop me from asking questions i will still ask questions so breaking news pastor yemisi Iginela has finally spoken. Yes, I told you that I was waiting for her to respond to her husband's accusation. And her confession is mind blowing. So I am going to give you a few minutes to watch her as she speaks to someone through a life broadcast okay please watch what she has to say and i'll come back to you thank you Yo, on facebook i don't seem to understand stella confronted me and told me to share my husband with him with her and i was like do you know this is a man of god he's a man of god when she said i should share my husband with her that i'm being selfish for holding on with my husband that if I don't release, if I don't allow my husband, if I don't share my husband with him, with her, she's going to take my husband from me. <laughs> it's funny. It was like that, but it happened. Before I know it, I got her number. All she would do was to condemn me every bit, every day. Condemn me every day every day i have some of the ones i screenshot that stella would say to me stella would say many things and i'm bringing it up so that you can see one of these was that an, a, an as and as genotype can never be thus a misplaced marriage I don't know how I can show it. Okay. If you can see it, that's Stella. I overlooked it. The next day, it was naked demonstration of God's love. That's it. My husband never told me about his um, relationship with Stella. I got to know that he had a baby through her updates. And this I don't know if you are seeing it. I don't know if you are seeing it. This is it. I don't know if you are seeing it, if it is clear. This was part of the battles I was fighting, but I kept quiet. A lot. When I, in my inquisitiveness, I got some of the pictures him and, and my husband, uh, she and my husband were exchanging in their living room. This is Stella when she was pregnant. And the next is my husband. I kept it. I kept it. I didn't say nothing. 
I did not say anything. I, I don't want to go much. If he says I'm lying, you should come up and do the genotype of my children. Come up and do the genotype of my children. The three children are his. If he loves Stella, he would have told me that he wanted to go on with Stella instead of tormenting my life, involving his family to torment me. Nobody knows the pain I went through. Beg him. Even up till November, I had asked him if Stella is now my wife, he should allow me accept that fact. I can stay with it. After all, I have known the pains I've been all the whole years. I now see that he cannot separate himself from Stella, the prophetess in South Africa. But my major pains at that time that made me bitter was that Stella was always with him. Stella was always with him. Stella was always with him. And it is to my surprise that he got married to Stella. I'm just seeing that now with all this saga online. I'm shocked that he got married to Stella. I'm shocked. So I can't say anything more than my child's health status that he put out so that tomorrow my child will not say, mommy, you didn't say anything. My three children are his. I've never, ever lived a promiscuous life, ever. I gave my life to Christ since I was six years old and I've been in the faith. I'm sorry for those of you who said I wouldn't have said anything, but I'm sorry for my children's sake and their destiny. My husband, is Brother Joshua Igenla. If he says it's the end of it, it's not the end of life. God is with us all the time. God bless you all. Have a blessed day. Bye. Okay. Did you watch that? Did you actually hear what she had to say? So who do we believe? Her husband accused her of cheating on him first but she's saying she did not do that she's saying that all of her children are her husband's children now i'm talking about two pastors here with a big ministry one of them is lying not only that yemisi is accusing her husband of having a mistress for the past how many years when I say that in my broadcast, so many people wanted to cut off my head. They were like, who told you that? But we get information, didn't we? Because that was on, we know about the woman in South Africa and I spoke about her and I said it was ongoing. And some people from his church were like, it's not possible. He was just confessing. See, so this relationship has been ongoing. The pastor married this woman behind the wife's back without telling his congregation, without anyone knowing what's going on. This mistress or second wife has been tormenting the first wife. This is Yemis' own version of the story. And you, Lord, are still telling me that that man is a man of God and that man of God can fail. Man of God can, they are human. I don't think it's acceptable. I don't think it's acceptable that a man of God should live in the seats. This is a callous and intended and pretentious deceit that he has lived in. He has been fornicating and committing adultery with a prophetess, the person in charge of his South African church. Not only that, 
they tormented his wife. His wife has been put through a lot. And you are telling me he is a man of God. Okay. Yeah, he's a man of God. So I'm not going to make any comments. I'm not going to say anything. Let your conscience judge you. Let you that are supporting him think about the word of God. Think about Christ's own adulterated word and not about pastors. Okay? When, when Christ comes, he's not coming because you're a, past, you're a pastor or you're a member of a particular ministry. He's coming for his own people. He's coming for his own people. This is about time we stop following people blindly. What this pastor did was a premeditated sin. Yet every Sunday he goes on the pulpit and he preaches. And I keep saying it. No wonder the word of God that is being preached has been diluted. It's all about money, 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 money. You want to be rich? You want to get money? I mean, yeah, I'm a Christian. I go to particular church, but I know what's going on. And the point is, we need to start asking ourselves a question. What is going on? What is happening? I'm not going to talk much. I want you, all Christians, that will be watching this video to think. Start thinking. Start using your senses. If they have brainwashed it or used juju on you, let the Holy Spirit open up your eyes of understanding pray for deliverance okay stop praying for deliverance go ahead and abuse me again i don't care and i will remove your comments this time around i don't have to keep it because i think some people are not thinking straight okay a pastor could have a mistress who had a child for him the wife was not aware they even had a child the mistress kept sending message to the wife so what if they are ss what if they are ss so pastor that does miracle eh does miracle is mindful of him and his wife being ss is that something me and my husband we are a a s and a s we don't care most of us even think about it we don't even refer to it we don't doesn't even come doesn't even we don't even talk we don't even think about it as a factor or as anything we didn't even check our group blood group before we got married we didn't care we're gonna marry anyway he's does it we love each other so much that we didn't care so you're telling me that a pastor who is a science and wonders pastor is talking about he and his wife being asas ah ah hey wahala day mm. When God comes, he'll be the one to judge us though. Now when God, we go away for Jesus to come, let him be the one to do the judging. All I know is that God have mercy on all of us. Thank you for watching. Please help me subscribe. Please help me like. Please help me Talk about this.